and you're doing nothing but lying and selling the lies of the Democrats all for campaigns and elections. Shame on every single person that has done that. Shame on you. You need to tell the truth. You have the freedom of press, one of the greatest rights in this entire world. And anyone that puts the word insurrectionist, calls President Trump an insurrectionist, and calls any of us an insurrectionist is a liar, and you do not deserve the power that you possess. Shame on you. Shame on you. Let me give you guys a little history lesson, okay? When President Trump was inaugurated, Antifa and leftist rioters nearly burned down Washington, D.C. Did you call it an insurrection? No. BLM raised millions of dollars on the Act Blue Democrat fundraising website and then proceeded to cause $2 billion in damages across American cities and communities all in 2020, every day. Not one day for three hours, every damn day. Did you call it an insurrection? They attacked police officers, federal courthouses, tore down statues, burned 93 police vehicles. Did you in the media call it an insurrection? No, you did not. You called it mostly peaceful. And you lied to the American people and the American people don't trust you anymore because of that. And then the American people who pay for elections with their tax dollars actually own the elections and have, have the right, the right to care about their elections, election integrity, and the results of their elections. When they came to Washington and protested, all of you called it an insurrection. And then when Joe Biden was inaugurated and this entire Capitol complex was surrounded with 30,000 National Guard troops, none of you stood there and called that an insurrection. Oh no, you all stayed silent. And while Matthew Graves, the U.S. Attorney at the Department of Justice, is arresting people every single day, throwing them in jail, held them for 22 hours in solitary confinement, unconvicted, all of you stay silent. No one attacks them for that. Apparently, you think it's deserved. Shame on you. And I want you to know the American people are paying attention. They're not stupid just because you tell them in your articles and in your headlines and on your network networks that Trump is an insurrectionist or any of us are insurrectionists. No, as a matter of fact, you're hurting your own careers and you're hurting your industry for lying to them.